Hello everyone. I know that some of you may be really anxious in terms of what topics may be showing up on the 2024 CSEC Biology Examination. However, anxiety during an examination is never a good recipe. So my advice to you is to be calm as possible, be relaxed, and just do well. But before you go into the examination, you must be prepared. Once you're prepared, there is not much to worry about. Now, let us jump into a few things before I do the prediction. The first thing I'm going to do is to look at a disclaimer. And this reads that this is a prediction of the likelihood of a topic showing up on the 2024 CSEC Biology Paper 2. This is not an absolute determination of the said topics because no information about the actual examination is known to me. Hence, full revision of the syllabus is always required and of course is always advised because again, any topic may show up, but this is my prediction. The format of this prediction will take one. We're going to compare topics from May, June 2022 and also May, June 2023 as well as January 2022 and January 2023 examinations. The next thing, we're going to look at the general topics, pretty much a glimpse of the general topics in, as it relates to the syllabus. And then we jump into the 2024 prediction. Again, this is my prediction. All right, this is not an absolute or a guarantee that these topics will be on the examination, but it is a likely good. All right, so the first thing is that we're going to take now a journey through the past examination, 2022 and 2023, starting with May, June 2022. And so on June 2022 examination, topics or questions including sea germination, pollution. There was a graph question specifically on growth and the rate of growth or growth rate. Feeding as well, including types of feeding. And as you recall, we talk about autotrophs, heterotrophs, and saprophytes. Also, cell and cell specialization, climate change, global warming, blood and sickle cell anemia to be specific. Also, the menstrual cycle was mentioned in a question, pregnancy, birth control, and also STDs or STIs. And for January, January 2022, you got uh, questions on digestion, nutrition, food test, enzymes, photosynthesis, carbon cycle, conservation and recycling, transpiration, climate change, genetics or heredity, cell division, and also there was a question on skin, and particularly it relates to homeostasis referring to the kidney, and that includes how you control water as well. And then for the 2023 examinations, we have cells, and its cells were included in terms of animal, plant, and bacterial cells, and there was a comparison between all three. We have structures of bacteria to be specific. They actually give a quite a number of um, parts of question relating to that. You have cell division, specifically meiosis, classification, conservation, transporting plants, diffusion, excretion, and that was extensively testing the conservation of water in plants and animals. And for that 2023 January, um, we look at respiration, breathing, gaseous exchange, nervous system, sensitivity, ecosystem, food chain, feeding relationships, also sexual, well, sexual reproduction, asexual reproduction, but specifically, they're more gearing towards asexual reproduction. Some genetics, um, Punnett square, skeleton system, diseases caused by vectors. And of course, it's also good for you to run through the 2024 January paper as well. I right, say so it's good for you to mimic that examination to see the closeness of the topics that we're going to talk about here. All right, but however now, just to give you a general idea of the complete topics that you should cover, and this again is a summary of the topics because there are subtopics including under these topics. 
So classic, classification is a must, um, definitely for you to go through, especially for paper one, ecology, um, nu nutrient cycles, the carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, and so on, water cycle, pollution, and that has been tested over the past two years quite a lot. So pay attention to pollution. Cells as well. Again, that's another popular topic to be tested. And then we have diffusion, osmosis, nutrition, leaf structures, photosynthesis. And just to mention about nutrition, that includes um, plants and animals as well. So it's not only for digestion. And so for 10, we have digestive system. We have enzymes, respiration, transport, specifically transporting plants and animals, blood, circulatory system, immunity, transpiration, and transpiration has been testing a lot as well, I noticed. Excretion, and I, and I will bet you pay attention to excretion and also the structures of the nephron. And then we have some other topics, including movement, locomotion, and of course, the skeleton system has been tested um, quite recently, so I'm not too keen on that coming back. Irritability, nervous system, sense organs, circulatory system, reproduction, diseases, genetics, pay attention to that as well. Evolution and natural selection, and I will say pay attention to natural selection particularly. All right, so those are the complete topics. And so for my prediction, I will say, based on the previous or the recent examinations, ecology is something that you need to pay attention to, osmosis, leaf structures and functions, and I am predicting that you might have a graph this time or some form of drawings. Example, the drawing of a cell. So pay attention to the drawings, particularly leaf or any organs, like even the heart. But pay attention to your drawings, your labelings, um, especially for question number two I'm talking about. All right, so pay attention to that. Climate change, you might see you my minimal, I would say minimal um, prediction in terms of this occurring. So if you see climate change, it may not be a lot. It may be a small amount. Not to say don't study now, okay? Of course, all the body systems is always a given, and this may sound a lot, but I would say there's no bio examination without a body system. So you need to know all the systems of a body. That alone will guarantee you at least a 25% mark because naturally, it makes up a lot of the by examination. So that's why I have that in green. Do not go in that examination without knowing the systems of the body. Please know them. Example digestion, circulatory system, the heart structure, the nephron, right? The respiratory system. Please know that. The immune system. Please know them. All right? It's very important. And also factors or conditions that may affect them. All right? So please know that as well. Um, natural selection, I'm kind of predicting that that might, might come. I'm not too, too keen on natural selection, to be honest with you, but I'm, I have a gut feeling that yeah, that may come up based on the topics and how the, the progression of the topics from the last three to five years. I may see something on that. Um, sense organs, example, the eye, the ear, for sure, you may see, you might, you might. And again, um, this may not be one of the popular thing that may pop up on this exam because um, here before last, I think, yeah, you have, you have an eye diagram. But yeah, they may come back with, with the ear this time. So yes, please pay attention to that. Reproduction in flowing plants. Um, I haven't been seeing that over the past two years to be particular. Well, here before, uh, uh, well, three years back, I think, you don't have a structure of the flower, which is the, um, particularly, I think it was a female part of the flower. So again, that may come up back this time. Genetics, the particular Punnett square, they, they kind of mentioned it last two years um, in terms of giving a slight question on that. But know it, knowing genetics, particularly Punnett squares and predictions in terms of genetic possibilities, please know that. So this will be my prediction right here. All right, again, this is not limiting you to only these topics. So again, go through as much as you possibly can, but pay attention while going through and studying and reviewing. Please pay attention to these topics. You might see them, you might not. But this is my prediction. And I actually hope they come, to be honest with you. And for your sake, yeah, I'm looking forward. All right, so at this point, I want to thank you again for sticking around with 
me in terms of preparation for examination, in particular for biology and other CSEC examinations. All right, so I want to thank you and I want to wish you good luck on the examination and may God bless all of you. Take care and I will see you soon.